auditorium and we see the barbecue honky tonk or something coming up and we see a bunch of people and we're hearing music. There's a little uh, mall, little tiny mall, and people are sitting down here watching the hockey games. Yeah, they're all lined up here, and they're looking up at the screen. And I'm sure this is part of their, uh, one of their many hundreds of murals that we keep hearing about in this little mall. We have finally made it to Broadway. Another mural, country music legends, I got it. wonderful view of the city jail and a parking lot and some power cables and so yeah see it's nicely designed and they have the kitchenette which is nice and the nice TV and see it's a suite where if you need to you can rent the other room and have the artwork and then even they have a pullout where if normally we bring our big little people, we would have had a place to have um, the extra bed. And then the closet, which um, has, I like the fact that the lights come on the minute you open it. Everything is like that eco-friendly type thing where the lights go out after a while. So that's really cool. So we're in the land of murals, and here is a pretty one, and then there is a wedding one behind Skull's Rainbow Room. There is downtown Nashville that way. Here that has the pink windows. The brand new restaurant Casa Rosa and Miranda Lambert's place. Just open. Hey, we're trying Hattie B's hot chicken. It's supposed to be thebomb.com and the line is not too long because it is raining outside a little bit. So we're at the door, but we're not out the door. 
Okay, so we went out and had these and got the um, no heat chicken because we're just those kind of people. We got mac and cheese and greens and fries and sides and a drink. Gonna take the Studio B tour here at the Country Music Hall of Fame. Nashville's only historic studio tour. It has stopped raining a little bit, but it's still raining enough. And it blows him away almost immediately. He goes, wow, oh, this is incredible. Hey, Chet, come here. Who wrote this? Chet Atkins walks over to Elvis, looks down, and starts reading the song over his shoulder. And he goes, huh, I did not think this would be good. You know, Julie told me it took her 15 minutes to write this. <laughs> That's really good. Do you want to call Dolly and see him put on the album? Mm -hmm. Elvis is like, yeah, that'd be great. So Elvis personally calls Dolly the very next day and he asks her about this song. And she started crying and she was so happy. She couldn't believe it. Elvis Presley was calling her and asking her if he could work with her. This is something she dreamed of happening. But unfortunately, those tears of joy ended up turning into tears of sadness. Because after Elvis called, she received a second call. And this second call was from Elvis's manager, Colonel Tom Parker. And if you don't know anything about the life and history of Elvis, you know Colonel Tom wasn't the greatest guy in the world. And Colonel Tom tried to take advantage of the fact Dolly was going solo for the first time ever in her career. And he told her that if she signs over the song for the album, well, then she also has to sign over 50% of the publishing rights to it. Half the song over to him. rainy day so we have been trying to find things to do that will allow us to take advantage of the rain outside by doing things that are inside. trying to get to there is supposed to be this amazing garden and I'm assuming maybe it is closed for after not seeing it for so long nice artwork we stopped at Starbucks because it was on the way and we're trying to figure out where we're going and it's hot as heck out here so Time to stop for a refresher. That's the Marathon Motor Works, and they have it's like an indoor mall where they have a variety of shops, um, and they're all small businesses. But it's so early; I think they just opened. So. Called the Gulch. It's supposed to be really nice. Uh -huh. Milk and honey. There's a lot. We are determined not to eat what we already know. We are going to try to find something unique to 
Um, okay, so what is your question about Biscuit Love? Because it was on one of our lists as a place that everybody should try, obviously, because there's a nice line. But what's your question about it? Wow. Another one of Nashville's murals. This one's interesting, nice on air, and it's got the ear. This is Carter Vintage Guitar. Says it's open. And there it is. Out the bridge. Okay. This is a uh, vintage Poison. It's a uh, 1962 jazz bass. Okay. All right. The neck feels like my 78. Okay. That was like a vintage shot one. Okay. Mm -hmm. Carter's Vintage Guitars. This is a um, 1957 reissue. Fender Precision. That sounds good. It's cool though. I love that. Um, which is another one of the hot chicken franchise places locally. And we're thinking we're gonna uh, bump up the heat level since we didn't do any heat at all at um, Hattie B's. We're gonna try a little bit uh, the mild um, at this place. And I'll see if they have pork in their greens. If they do, I won't get that again. But I had no veggies yesterday, which was disappointing. And I think that's it. We'll let you know how it is. All right, so this is the our version of the hot chicken. They always have pickles with it. I'm not sure what that's about. I'm sure people who like hot stuff maybe get it. Um, and then there's the fries. And Bruce got similar hot chicken with different sides. This is Rumble Seat Music. We'll have to wait to get here, but it's really nice. Cool vibe. he played a banjo when I wasn't looking but uh, I didn't see it so there's no proof of that we kind of came here for a banjo maybe possibly but there are always some other uh, lures we'll see what we end up with or if we end up with anything at all
biscuit love and there is a line already umbrellas for people to wait and so that's what we're doing so we're inside. We didn't have to wait long. It's raining, so maybe that had something to do with it. All right, it. so we're trying these things called, what are they, bow nuts, right? Biscuit uh, type of confection donut thingy mabobbers. They look like uh, donut holes. And so. Thank you. 